Now an address by the President of the United States, speaking live from Washington. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal, and that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. In a lot of ways, 1963 is a very, very hopeful year. It's really the year that makes and shapes the 60s. I think in personal terms, John F. Kennedy was largely free of racial prejudice. But I think it's also fair to say that the daily plight of black Americans was not an issue in these years, growing up in college, in the war, even as an, uh, a politician in his early years. The plight of black Americans was not an issue that moved him, I guess we could say. Mainstream civil rights leadership uh, viewed Kennedy as somebody who was an ally, but at times um, not aggressive enough in his pursuit of civil rights and full equality uh, for, for Black people. So I think the assumptions we make are that President Kennedy sort of always knew uh, and was on the pulse of, of the Black freedom struggle and the fact that civil rights was um, this great moral question and political question of the, the age, I think he grows into that. I think it's by 63, the centennial of the Emancipation Proclamation, um, that he really comes to grips with what he himself calls a revolution that's happening, that's unfolding, that can either be violent or peaceful. Good evening, my fellow citizens. And I should note maybe also that the speech was rhetorically very effective. And what's remarkable about that is that it was hastily written. Some of it was ad-libbed. It was extemporaneous. But I, for example, when he says at one point that Americans, Black Americans, were being denied equal rights, denied the opportunity to eat at a restaurant or go to a movie theater, denied the right to a decent education, denied almost today the right to attend a state university, Denied the right to a decent education. Denied almost today the right to attend a state university, even though qualified. Seems to me that these are matters which concern us all. This now, use of denied four times in quick succession is, it seems to me, really powerful. It's really President Kennedy, but as well as the United States, is um, really come to Jesus' speech, Paul on the road to Damascus' speech of recognizing that we have a huge political problem, but also a moral and a spiritual problem. One of the lines he says in that speech is that we preach justice around the world and we mean it. And the only way to show that we mean it as Americans is to really redefine who we are and reimagine American democracy. The society that JFK envisioned in that speech and that he implied could result the society we could have is still not fully realized. Um, and so the pursuit of racial equality uh, obviously carried for him great urgency 60 years ago, but it still does today. I think the reason why this speech has been lost to history is because of the way in which by the end of that year, uh, President Kennedy is assassinated. So in a lot of ways, um, uh, this speech gets lost in the huge tragedy of November 22nd. But it's only because of the hope and the activism and the hard work that people do that we get the Civil Rights Act of 1964, that we get the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and that we get um, really more democracy in American history than we ever had up until that time. So we have to still remember this as this hopeful uh, period. We face, therefore, a moral crisis as a country and a people. It cannot be met by repressive police action. It cannot be left to increase demonstrations in the streets. It cannot be quieted by token moves or talk. It is a time to act in the Congress, in your state and local legislative body, and above all, in all of our daily lives. We cannot say to 10% of the population that you can't have that right. That your children can't have the chance to develop whatever talents they have. That the only way that they're going to get their rights is to go in the street and demonstrate. 
I think we owe them and we owe ourselves a better country than that.